Spider-Man 2 looks like it's going to be quite a bit of a step up from its prequel judging from the latest footage we were shown. It might even have the potential to be the best superhero game ever made, which is why I'm making this video to discuss the things we have been recently shown and why I think this game is probably going to be quite sick. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Firstly, they show how much the map is going to expand with Queens and Brooklyn being added, which is nice to see because I thought we were just going to be restricted to the same map again, which is not such a big deal in a Spider-Man game, but it's still a nice change. I like how this decision is also kind of story related as Miles is studying in Brooklyn Visions Academy and Peter was originally from Queens. I hope that the map is not overly bloated with things to do though as more content is not always better but I think Insomniac will be able to handle it well. To supplement the larger map size, we now have web swinging that is much faster than ever before. The web wings are also assisting in this aspect and it's going to be interesting to see how fast you can go and if the new speed improves the experience. Fall damage is also an option now as well, which is interesting and I can't wait to see how it actually affects the traversal system and whether or not it can actually be a good addition. From what we have seen so far, it looks much smoother as well, but we will definitely have to wait till the game releases to see how it really feels like. You will now be able to change into Miles or Peter whenever you like in the open world and the change is almost instantaneous. There will however be missions exclusive to either Peter or Miles as well as certain suits. But you can still tackle most of the missions with whoever you want. A cool thing about this is that if you are playing as Miles or Peter, there is a chance that either of them might join you to help you out when you are tackling crimes which helps make the experience feel much more alive. I also like how they are trying to make exploration more exciting by adding more visual cues to find certain side activities. For example, there could be a mysterious symbol being projected in the sky and if you investigate it, you can get some rewards or maybe even a secret boss fight. I like how there are many possibilities to this which will encourage more exploration. By doing all of these activities, you can earn tokens that can be used to unlock over 65 suits in this game which is great. There are a lot of them coming from the comics and movies as well so I can't wait to see the diversity. My favorite one so far has definitely got to be the Raimi black suit as Spider-Man 3 was such a memorable movie to me, especially for the memes. Another interesting thing about the suits is that the symbiote suit is just an alternate suit which means that you can use your symbiote abilities with whatever suit you want which is such a great and interesting feature. There will also be a rage mode for the suit which is great to see and it reminds me of the rage mode of the symbiote suit from the Shattered Dimensions game. It's a really great Spider-Man game you should try out if you have never played it before. Trust me, it's one of the best. And finally, there will be a 30, 40 and 60 FPS mode with ray tracing enabled at all of those settings which is surprising to me and proves to me that the people at Insomniac Games are wizards cause they managed to pull this off. There will also be a 120 Hz option which will not have ray tracing of course but it's really great if you want as much smoothness as possible. It looks like this game is improving upon everything that was established in the previous games while also adding new features which is exactly what a sequel should be. Everything looks promising so far and I can't believe that in just one month's time we will be experiencing another Spider-Man game that is hopefully one of the best. So what do you guys think of all of these new news? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below and with that being said this has been 2367 Ruben signing out.